Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Scorpio. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Um, <clears throat> okay, so um, currently you probably are not talking with this person and this is their choice I kind of feel like they're taking a stand or took a stand on something and this could have this could have been uh, or could be something that's been going on for some time because the snail is here so it, it's dragging you know but it could change very quickly um, this person um, may have been or still are uh, in denial about something. There's something this person needs to see uh, about about the situation. Okay, here they are sitting. There, this is the partner. So uh, they're they're questioning their connection uh, to this person. Okay, um, you know uh, they would be asking themselves a lot of uh, questions, you know, um, uh, where have we been, how did I get here, where are we going, or, you know, is there uh, still a future here? For this person, it ended, but it's like it's not over. I feel like this person is somebody very stubborn, set in their ways, and uh, I feel like they still love this person, even if you're you've ended it, you're not talking. They definitely still love this person. For some of you, I mean, this could go a couple of different ways. It could be that this person, because they're very set in their ways, because of the belief system they were raised upon, because of their life experiences that have shaped their their thoughts and feelings, um, this person may be uh, very guarded, um, uncompromising. Um, this person could be very controlling, especially if they've been uh, deeply hurt or carrying ghosts of the past. We have the the skull here, you see. They did something. And they got, they were very angry, frustrated about something. But this is really what the issue was even if that's that's probably it see I'm just gonna say even if they don't see it and I remember I said there's something they're not seeing that's it that's it right there the ghosts of the past so that's what drove them and they put themselves outside here you know, but they, what they really want is to be inside. And there's a very uh, tiny glimmer of hope here as they look at it. This person's watching you. Or it's vice versa because these energies can go vice versa. So they have a little flicker, a glimmer of hope. That's what this card is. They're, but they're still very afraid for the future. They're confused. They don't know if the other person loves them. This person has had a lot of uh, difficulties with relationships and love in general. Maybe even to the point where, you know, um, maybe there's something in this person's past and that they feel uh, like it's like they don't love themselves 
that's possible. There is an action that this person needs to take but is not taking uh, so far, okay, but they need to take. Yeah, see, having to do with the ghosts of the past. That keeps coming back around in love situations, having to do with love. Yeah. Okay. The heart is in the upright. It did fall that way, and uh, I feel like this person still really loves you. We also have the Ace of Cups down here at the root. So at the root of all of this is this person, although they, they did something uh, because of ghosts of the past, they ended it. Um, possibly they were very afraid, very guarded, didn't think they were going to get what they wanted for some others of you. And and this, you know, that very few, but for some of you, if it's not somebody who was uh, very uncompromising because of their own ghosts, it's possible there was a third party influence of another kind uh, this person is strongly being influenced either by ghosts of the past, there could be a third party, or some other third party, some third party type of, inf uh, of influence like ghosts of the past, like friends, like family, okay? But um, they are being influenced by something. And, and that's what... Uh, um, drove them to do what they did and um, the stubbornness comes from uh, all of the trauma that they this person has had in their uh, when it comes to relationships I'm sorry I hit my mic that would have made some noise yeah so what are they doing well, currently they may not be talking and they may not be honest with themselves about what the real issue is here. Okay, because I see the Hierophant is here. The Western Emperor, he's sitting and he's waiting. This person has power over... Uh, this person, okay, how would I say that? Yeah, this person, they have power over you, or, or this is like vice versa, okay? This person can be controlling. This situation, okay, this situation has power over this person. Okay, because their heart has two feet in, in this. Like, I mean, it's plunged right in there. And although mentally they walked away, emotionally they, they didn't, they can't. They still love this person. And so they're asking all of these questions about, about their connection to the partner, about the partner, you see. And what are they doing? Waiting. <laughs> they got a, a lot of cards of waiting. It's here, it's here, it's down here, it's over here. Here is talking about very slow movement, dragging. But the spider is waiting and most likely watching, thinking, digesting information as it comes in. Um, and maybe uh, trying to come up with a plan. There could be a very intense focus on something um, and this could be the plan, something that they're longing for. This is somebody who loves you, but they're uh, not telling you this. Okay. There's something with the spider also that could be eluding you. The spider is also connected to the magician. Um, and so 
uh, this could be this person sitting, waiting, uh, thinking, maybe uh, trying to manifest this new beginning, this coming together with this partner that they they lost but still love, you know? Yeah, definitely, because the judgment card. So they're waiting for another chance or a chance perhaps to wipe the slate clean or they're waiting for this person to come back. They could be waiting to take a decision with judgment. They could be waiting for something to come out of the past. That's what the canon does. They could be waiting to explain or apologize for some explosive behavior, even. Or they're thinking about this explosive behavior. They're in reflection. Um, thinking about how to transform. Yeah, see there, we have the pond, which is a card of reflection. It's followed up by the Four of Swords, another card of reflection um, and trying to heal, preparing, rethinking, regrouping. Um, uh, we have the pipe, also reflection, looking at their options with the grapes here um, for that Ace of Cups. for another chance or for maybe even for an opportunity to tell this person how they feel and how they felt or maybe even uh, an apology um, once they see what they uh, what they weren't seeing you know which was connected to that skull over here remember um, so there they are watching again. We have the wolf here on uh, and, and temperance is clarifying it. And temperance, you know, she in this deck, which uh, in this deck she has uh, is very different. She has both of her feet in the water, so she's not feeling grounded. So he's he or she is watching and they are not feeling grounded. They're feeling very emotional. Okay, um, they're taking a deeper look with the eye in this King of Swords at a decision they took in the past and at, at their position because this King, he, he, he has that sword dug into the ground and um, he's got it dug into the ground because of perhaps something that stung him or something that stings he's taking a deeper look at his position on something something that stung him i feel something that got him all fired up and then he withdrew because he withdraws here with this community card okay so um he withdrew, the community card can be like a um, denial, um, safety nets, somebody withdrawing. Um, it feels like there's help available, but this person is not seeing it. Um, it could be hard for them to admit to something possibly also with this card uh yes so here we have the king of cups and he's looking at this cup and he really really wants it but yet he's not reaching for it there's an emotional issue uh that is keeping his hand on his lap because he really wants to uh, extend that arm and reach for that that cup because he really wants that peaceful solution up here, okay? 
this can also indicate that the cup is being delivered to him, but he's not taking it because he's keeping something uh, inside of him. Maybe there's something he's not seeing or doesn't want to see, but he's also not speaking. And he's got a history of doing this, okay, this person. They, he has a history of keeping his emotions inside. Yeah. He would be somebody who would be very hard to read, but he deeply wants uh, a new beginning, but he's afraid. He's afraid because of what? The ghosts of the past, and, and this is what he's in denial of. He's in denial of the fact that those ghosts of the past have been dictating to him for a long time, you know, and and uh, leading him down... Uh, this very unhappy path that he's on, you know, because he's stuck in a place where he's not happy um, with the five of coins here. And if he wants to, uh, if he wants to, um, let me see, if he wants to, to change things, uh, then he needs to take action. Remember, that's action that he didn't want to take. Uh, but it actually would prove to be quite rewarding should he take it, you know. So there's something that he needs to do that he's been in denial of or that he needs to see in order to get this chariot moving. So he has the question and he has the comet. And so... The question is is saying that any question you you have on your on your mind or this person um, will soon be answered, and this could be pertaining to uh, doubts and mistrust and and feelings, you know. Um, it can also indicate that this person needs to take a good look at why they are actually questioning this situ situation. They need to take a deeper look and and be open and honest with themselves as they as they take this deeper deeper look. Because there's something there uh whoops, I'm so sorry. <laughs> there's something there to be found. It's behind them. And the comet can speak to um, sudden flare-ups. So the reason why this person has these sudden flare-ups, um, um, this feeling of, oh, I, uh, if I do this, I'm going to get burned, you know, um, the reason why this is happening, it is uh, behind them. And they've been in denial of, looking at it or admitting to it one minute i'm just gonna fix my mic okay so the obstacle is this influence of the past that the past has on this person um but the connection uh that uh, that the uh, that the partner has on this person is is overpowering i feel like the love is is what uh is really uh going to make this person take this look because they love the other so much And so um, you definitely have it, 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 this. Per, this person is if if it's you, you're watching the other person. If it's them, they are definitely watching you and loving you. I mean, the love is here. Um, this card of the mask tells me that somebody's hidden. Um, this is like a secret admirer type of uh, energy. Uh, and it's like not all is as it seems. I mean, even if they're not talking currently with that Ace of Swords in the reverse, <laughs> if, if they're not talking, they're maybe giving you the impression that they don't care about you. Believe me, they do. 
and so yeah so the uh, the mask is um, the mask is saying that somebody is hiding their 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 feelings okay so one or both or even both parties can be concealing their uh, their thoughts or true feelings keeping silent about them um, So we have the snail, yeah, see, again, keeping silent, and that's exactly where the, the mask is, is on this energy. Keeping silent, look at this, okay, long-term, these are two very long-term energies, and there's information, the Hierophant and this ten of coins here is telling you, there's information written in your past, and we see it, it's been buried in this trunk whoever this belongs to, okay, whoever's energy this is, there's information that is written in your past that you've been carrying, and that is what you need to look at. That may be what you've not been, you or they have not been totally honest about, but uh, it would allow for a healing uh, to begin. It would uh, completely and suddenly, if they would just admit to it, and and look at it and look at at the value of having carried all 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 of that in their trunk and not looking at it avoiding it you know where has what has that done for them it has landed them where they are now and are they happy there now no and so that realization i mean the comet can be a sudden realization also so that realization just changes the whole picture you know somebody is hesitating on something and um, this could be talking about somebody who's been procrastinating on something um, the candle um a deeper look so they're procrastinating on taking that deeper look all right but uh the candle will light the way um something something is about to be learned because the candle is going to shed light on something and um, the clock can also indicate that important decision and we did have judgment there and so um, one one must learn patience with this time uh, card and know that not everything goes to plan it's a twofold uh, symbol either you you would need to find patience and understanding or a realization that time is is running out on this okay or you get that you know realization that time is running out on this and you need to take care of it It could be at paying attention or that you need to pay attention to details. The candles may light up this details or the details that are needed that this person needs to see. There's death. Yeah. Okay, so there's that moment here that happened in the, that Knight of Swords and the Five of Swords. Uh, where somebody got very very angry there's that that's needs to be studied about the ghosts that that's exactly what I've been talking about throughout this reading and so this needs to be studied looked at a closer look at the details you see how she's studying the coin all right and um, death is saying well all all present and past ghosts 
need to be taken care of um, to overcome uh, these, ob the, you know, the obstacles here. Well, the obstacles are the ghosts of the past and they need to be overcome. And you see how the person is down. Look how they cover their face and hierophants down on the ground. It's like a whole change of belief system. Wow. I mean, it's just incredible, you know. These cards are so powerful. And this person, they're, they're so afraid to, to, uh, to kind of uh, step out of that zone that they've been in for so long. It's, it's become like their armor, you know. And um, and but once they do this, it's like a that I got to go back to this card again. Once they do this, once they look at this, um, the healing begins. You know, this person needs to heal from the ghosts of the past, or needs to look at them. And I bet when they do look at them, uh, they're they're just not. Uh, it's, it won't be as bad as they thought it was because in the process, a lot of time has passed here for this person. So they would have grown, e even if they didn't see it, they would have grown. And, you know, shedding all of those ghosts of the past is going to be like a breath of fresh air for this person. And um, what we see here with the Seven of Swords, there's a lucky break or a development uh, with something um with something that this person this is for this person whoever this energy is you or them there's a lucky break or development with regards to something you've been striving to accomplish or something you've been putting a lot of uh, effort towards an unexpected development a lucky break a sudden change is what this card represents and this is something that this was that it's something like that they were hoping for there was always that no matter how bad this got or went that little glimmer of hope always remained why because you were meant to be together that is what i have for you i thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. I'm sorry I let this video drag on for quite some time. I'm looking at the time now. Um, but anyway, um, thank you for watching. Many blessings to all of you.